most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living or a term worth having. When I do this audio cast, it was originally supposed to be Magic and Mayhem, where I talked about the magic of the Lord that I experience on a regular basis and other people feel through interviews and other things that are real, and the mayhem that other people in the world cause God. You see, when people try to be God in someone's life, a person's records always gets harmed. When people try to be something in someone's life, a person's body always gets assaulted. There's actually a female group of black women who think that they have the right to sexually assault a white man. And what they're trying to do is to prove to him that he's not in fact a man. What I find offensive is that those people don't even know him. What I find ridiculous is that those people haven't been anywhere near to see how God has grown him. And what I find absolutely totally foolish about these black women who are doing this is that how stupid they look to him. You see, the difference between a woman and a man is significant according to them, but what they're focusing on is what they're not allowed to see. Their immorality is beyond off chart. What they did was hold him up in a cell of privacy for three months. The entire time someone was watching him stand and pee. So what they decided to do once he moved across the state line was to abuse him. Cut his little manhood, destroy blood flow so it wouldn't be as good for his upcoming nuptials and wife, and then they decided to go further than that. They decided to drug him, disrobe him, and shave him in front of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And when I say that, I say that gently, because despite my pagan abilities, despite my pagan knowledge, despite that there are other people of greater pagan history than me, I am not tolerating the abuse on me. It is true, but here's the problem. Foreign people coming into our land bring in illness and other sicknesses at hand. They bring in technologies that can freeze people, as we saw in the Tony Stark movies Iron Man. We also know that people using CBD oils are a little bit risky because they know what those oils do to you and me. But what I'm saying to you is that we have FDA that protects our food. But we have a young generation of kids who do not understand sanitation of food. We also have immature in mind, heart, and probably soul people who are running the management of food. America has defiled itself. And it's defiled itself the minute that it forgot how important the food we produce in our farms is important to the rest of the world. Very few nations in Europe, very few nations in Asia can fully feed their people. This is the wealth of America, despite the gross national product being a lot of other things and a lot of other stamping staples. But the bottom line is that God knows what he makes. And God doesn't need your help and modification of them. I told a story a while back about how I have a condition that sometimes rears its ugly head. But what I was getting a blessing from the Lord was, the minute that I submitted every single decision in my life to Him, was God was modifying what was wrong. He was actually growing things longer. He was actually shriveling things up. And He was actually doing this carefully with the help of our food. The help of our food is something that a lot of people need to pay attention to. A lot of overweight children are being raised in America because their parents are giving them foolishness and self-gratification. But here's the problem. You're plaguing a child for life to being heavy set when they might be a big bone kid, but they're not supposed to be heavy. And yet, you don't do your job as a parent. You don't help that child to learn balance and moderation. You don't feel right, is what you say. But that's not what's going on in your play. What's happening in your play is that you're being derelict in your duties and you're not thinking about how an overweight child becomes an overweight adult that is shortchanged in life because people do make judgments on what people do look like. And you don't have the right to take one fucking thing from another person's life.